some people be really bitter that's in the military. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like what you do, boo, get out, okay? Get out. When your, when your enlistment is up, get out out okay don't re-enlist and bring that negativity to another four years in the military because we don't need it okay we don't need it you know to my channel on today's video <laughs> we're gonna do the pros and cons of being in the military particularly like i say the military in general but this is more directed to those who think about joining the air force boo -boo. like i can't speak for the navy i can't speak for the army i can't speak for the marines all right so this is Pros and cons of joining the military, hashtag Air Force Edition. So if you are interested in um, watching this video, please stay tuned. Just know these are my opinions. I don't need nobody trying to come up with my comments, trying to correct me, trying to say what I'm saying is invalid. This is my opinion. So if you don't agree with my opinion, then you don't, then you don't agree with my opinion. Okay? So if you're interested and you're ready to hear your pros and cons, but let's get to this video. Do y'all want to do the pros and the cons? first let's do the cons first so for the first con i have um you could be put anywhere um so if you don't know when you go to basic training actually no when you go to tech school you get to create a dream sheet of all the places that you uh want to go and want to be stationed and um they say they take that into consideration i say it's a 50 50 chance because i got louisiana and that was nowhere on my dream sheet like nowhere at all like nowhere i didn't even have anywhere close to louisiana and i got shreveport louisiana so um you could be put anywhere you have people that get stationed in minor you have people that get stationed in those middle of nowhere places and they didn't even have it on their list so that's a con um another con is being away from your friends and family um if you're one of them very family oriented people this might really be something really big to you and it might really make you sad when you're away from um your friends and your family i was grateful enough to be stationed just five hours from my home even though i'm hoping to get stationed several several hours of playing where i 12 hours 13 hours whatever um away from home but um that's because you know i just want to travel the world that's all so if you're very family oriented and um you know that might be something that you really don't like um rank so when i say rank I think this is a con in many ways as much as, as it is a pro. If you join the military, you're going to soon see what I'm talking about. Because with rank, it's like if someone outranks you, then it's kind of like they kind of have the upper hand over you. And don't matter if they're right or wrong, they have the upper hand. Like, of course, you know, they teach you like if someone's wrong, like stand up for yourself and blah 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 but you have some people that are higher ranking you that are very vindictive and like they have any bit of control over if you make the next rank if you want to make btz they could score you low they could do anything to jeopardize your future and like rank is big because you have people that's higher ranking than you and they literally will talk down on you like they will talk down on you like you are scum and you're just like at the end of the day we're all human beings at the end of the day when you take off this uniform your name is bob my name is murphy Sue. your name is this my name is that we're all people at the end of the day so like some people really take rank and they run with it and they think they could talk treat people anywhere you want to be any way they want to treat you like they like they treat you like they wasn't just you a couple years ago. So it'd be crazy. You really be seeing like, I honestly haven't had anyone talk to me crazy yet, but I've seen because that's going to be the day that um, I'm probably get paperwork. Cause I don't, I like, my thing is I will respect you because of your rank. 
basically grants that person respect, I guess. I'm going to give you the respect based off, okay, you're higher ranking, but the moment that you lose my respect, I'm still going to, you know, treat you accordingly, you know, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, sir, but, like, my respect for you would definitely go out the window, you know, and some people just think they could really just talk to you crazy. It's really crazy. It's crazy. It's wild out here. Um, another con is like if you don't like what you do and if you don't like the people you work with or you just don't like where you are, you just can't quit and be like, okay, I'm done. Like you gotta finish out your contract and pray it gets better. Um, another con for me would be regs. This is more so for us, um for us melanin women, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of regs and that you know it's just a lot it's a lot that goes into with us like nail color like you have colors that will look good on someone who's a lighter complexion than you with different race and you put it on and it's like no ma'am go take it off that don't even compliment your skin you deal with a lot of not complimenting your skin you deal with a lot of our hair being having to be a certain way like some some people depending on where you are you might can get away with that but you will come to a base where they will not play and they will make you on your lunch or make you give you a certain amount of time to switch that crap up. That's why I always stay within a safe place when it comes to my hair and nails because you really don't want nobody like calling you out because ooh, they will call you out. Trust me. And I be seeing some military girls and I be like, you couldn't do it here. Let me tell you, you couldn't do it here because you would have been got checked. Okay. Um, so that's all I got for cons. The pros that I have is travel. Like you get to travel like for deployments and stuff. Like your girl just got tasks to deploy. So I'm gonna get some traveling done. I'm excited. And then you have little um things like you get to do an overseas listing where you get to go overseas, you get to do a BOP, basic preference, and it's little things that they can they allow you to do TDYs um for your travel. So I said free education. You guys, I'm 50 credits away from my bachelor's degree. The reason I joined was to continue my education, and that's exactly what I've been doing. So the free education is no lie. You literally, while you're in, they give you amount of money for you to go to school. Like $4,500, I think. I could be exaggerating. I don't know. But like $4,500 for you to have while you're in the military to go to school. And then... After you get out, they give you more money for you to go to school. It's like they just give you money for school. And definitely in the, in the Air Force, honestly, school is a really big deal. A lot of people push school on you, with, you know, but it's kind of up to you, baby. Go to school. If they give you this free money, go to school. Go to school. I don't care if you go to school for, um, I don't know, barber, um, cosmetology. Um, I don't know. You can go to school for that. Bob in the military. If you didn't know, now you know. All right. Um, another pro I have is meeting new people. I love meeting new people. I've met some of the most amazing people since I've been in just my little two years, almost three next year. I've met some great people and like, man, I'm just so sad that I don't get to see them as much because we didn't all went to our different bases and it's, you meet some amazing people that you would have never met if you just would have stayed where you are. Like, you know, it's it's cool. Meeting people is cool. <laughs> um, I said self development. Ever since I joined the military, I've really became my better self. I can honestly say it's taken me outside of my comfort zone. I had to grow up a little bit. I had to change my mindset on a lot of things, my outlook, my um, how I see things. Like it really took me like looking outside of myself. And with doing that, I became my a better me, my best self. So. I feel like you can get that with just if you get taken out of your comfort zone. The military was definitely outside of my comfort zone. So that's how I became my best self. And lastly, I said having a sense of independence. Um, Even though <clears throat> you, which is, this is also could be a con, even though you have to get permission to do almost everything, boo boo. Everything. Like, um, most people be like, yeah, I can get up and go. You can't get up and go. Don't, don't sit up here and lie to these people like they can just get up and go. 
If you don't got enough leave days, you're not getting up and go. If you don't got the right manning and they say you can't go, you can't go. If you submit leave and they counsel it, you cannot go. So I don't want anyone to lie to you and say like, oh, I can get up and go anytime I want. You can't. You just, you just can't. Because if any time they say, no, you can't go, you can't go. And they really don't even have to give you a good reason. They just be like, no. And you be like, oh, okay, bet. That's tough. But um, it really be like that. But I say a sense of independence because before I was, before I joined, I was very dependent on my parents. And um, now I got my own place by myself, got my own car by myself, didn't need no cosign. My credit score bomb. When I tell you my credit score bomb, credit score bomb. Like, see, I can get anything. I can go out and get a loan for a house right now and get approved. Like that, that's how it's going. But that's, basically what she would do don't don't let me get that confused with the military just being help you build your credit score baby you gotta build that on your own it ain't gonna do it for you but yeah i do say a sense of independence because i'm really not relying on anyone yes i'm relying on the government to get my check but baby i'm working for it okay um and that's all i got for the pros travel free education benefits of course health care you get free health care that's a good benefit definitely since health care is highly expensive um self-development sense of independence i feel um that's all i have for this video i really don't want to make it too long um i say be on the lookout for my next video because i will be discussing more on material management i got a lot of people saying they want to see a video on that and what it what it entails and i know a lot of people might go come in with this job and you know, have a lot of people that get it going over in general so i'm going to post a video basically telling you what we do what material management consists of? It's this huge, big thing, but you have all these subcategories. I've only worked two shops, so I can't give you all the info on everything else. But until my next video, guys, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. And comment down below what y'all want to see. What more you want to see. Like, for real, be more interactive with me. Dang, that's all I ask. All right, bye. <laughs>